Hello everyone, this is Adam Anderson, Product Trainer at Maple Systems. Welcome back to our EB Pro training series. In the last video, we gave you a brief tour of EB Pro. We added a user-defined tag and a numeric display to this new project. In this video, we're going to be adding some more visual elements in preparation for downloading the project to our HMI, which we'll do in the next video. So to begin, let's talk about a background. So we have this default window color here. If we want, we can change the background color. Just simply right-click on the window, go to Attribute, and then from the background section here, you can change the color. So we're going to set ours to black, and then click OK. And we have this grid showing now, which you may or may not wish to use. If you don't want the grid to show, you can just go to the View tab and unclick Grid. So now let's talk about adding a title. So if we go to the Object tab, we can click on this A icon to add a text or comment. So we want to add this to the top of our window. We're going to add this text, Advanced HMI 5070DL. That's our model number that we're using in this project, the dual Ethernet model with a 7-inch touchscreen. So you can enter your text there and change the size and the font here and then click OK when you're ready to add this. So this is a little bit too large for our screen. So we can go to the Home tab now and use these font tools to quickly change the font size. For example, with these buttons, we can increase or decrease the font size, or with this drop-down menu, we can do the same. So we'll click the Decrease Font Size button there, and then I'd like to center this horizontally on the window. So you can use the Arrange tools for this. And this is our button to center horizontally here. So we'll do that and then we'd like to add a logo now for our company. You may wish to do the same for your company. So to do that we'll go to the object tab and select picture. Go to the picture library and from this project tab we can set up new custom pictures. So click the green plus button to add one. This will be blank to start and then we click new and we can browse to a picture that we want to use. We'll use our Maple Systems logo here. Click Open, and then click OK, and click OK two more times, and then you can add it to your window. This is a bit too large for us, so we'll double click here, and then we can edit this. We don't want to use the original dimensions at this point. That's too large, so we'll uncheck this box first, and then we'll go to the Profile tab, and we can set a specific width and height here in number of pixels. So we're going to make ours 80 by 80 and then click OK. So that's much better size and we'll go ahead and drag this down to the lower left on our window. Now we'll be setting up a number of windows throughout this training series and in this sample project. And to speed that up a little bit and to prevent having to copy and paste these visual features like the title and logo to every new window, we can instead set up a separate window as a background window or an underlay window and then show that on the other windows that are being created. So to do that we can use the window copy feature here to speed things up a little bit. So we'll start with selecting the window that is the source and then choosing a destination window we're going to copy this to window 11 and one more time we'll copy this to window 12 and we'll see in a moment why we're creating two windows. So we'll close that now and let's make window 11 the background window. So we're going to change the title, right click and select attribute to do this. Background. Okay. And now if we go back to window 10. We're going to delete this text and logo here. We still have them on the background window. And we're going to go to attribute now and we're going to use the underlay window setting and select background here. Click OK. Now we see that text and logo show through but we can't select them from this window. And that is advantageous if you have a lot of objects here you need to select them all at the same time and move them around, but you don't want to move around your text and logo. Most likely you'll want these to be in a fixed position, so we can do this that way. And we have another window here. 
with this numeric object on it. We can do the same, delete the text and logo. And this has the attribute set for underlay window as well. And we're going to change the name of this one to numeric object and set up the first window now as a home window instead. Okay, now from window 10 we'll set this title to home. And now all we need is a button to navigate between the windows. And we'll delete this too now because we're going to have just a single home screen. So we'll go to Object, Function Key, Change Full Screen Window, and switch over to Numeric Object when we click on this. Let's go to the Shape tab. We'll want to use the white color here and then add a label. We'll make this black and Numeric Object will be our text. We'll click OK and we'll add this here. And then on the numeric object window, we'll add another function key that can let us get back to the home screen. So click function key, change full screen window to home, set the shape and colors you wish to use. So now we've added the background, title, logo, and navigation buttons. And this two window project is now ready to be downloaded to our HMI. So check out in the next episode where we'll show you how to do that.